Hey, what's up guys, it's Roy here. So today I have the s Mic 3 here from Deity. This is a professional broadcast quality shotgun mic that they were kind enough to send out for review. It's 399 smackers. There is an s Mic 3S version that's a little bit smaller and I think it's like 50 bucks less, uh, which is more for like content creators and you know, kind of people that are gonna run and gun. Uh, but like I said, this is a pro mic. It's broadcast quality like it says on the box. Uh, and way better than anything I've ever used. Normally, I'm using something that you can just plug into a camera and go. For example, I'm using the D3 Pro right now from Deity that I've been using for a little over a year and absolutely love this microphone, but it's a lot simpler to use because I can just literally recharge it when it's about to die, plug it up, good to go. This one, there's a few more extra steps that you gotta take, which I'm kind of embarrassed to admit that I wasn't very familiar with how to use a microphone like this had to kind of go down that YouTube rabbit hole a few times. But in this video, I'll also share briefly like what you need um, and uh, hopefully save you some headache like I did. But, uh, but as far as what comes inside the box, this is the box, a picture of the microphone. And then of course, I'll zoom in here so you can nerd out with the specs. I'm definitely not gonna get lost in the weeds on that stuff because I don't really understand what it means. But what I do know is that it's broadcast quality sound. It's a super cardioid polar pattern. It's gonna catch that sound in front of it and then hopefully kind of muffle out what's behind it and around. But you know, it's gonna be, you know, really good for what subject it's pointing at. But what I also care most about is that it is weather resistant and it's a new aluminum alloy ultralight shell, which does make it uh, a much lighter microphone than other traditional shotgun mics like this. So let's get this out. So literally just slide this part up and reveals what comes inside the packaging here. So we do get some Deity stickers and a service warranty thing here, which, you know, that's great if you like stickers. Uh, we do get a little foam little pop screen here, which is great if uh, you know you wanna install that. Now the thing that I uh, wish they would have done with this one is actually um, put Deity branding on it because a lot of the Deity microphones that I'm used to has that, so it'd been kinda cool to see that. And then we also have this mount here. Uh, it's not a quarter 20, but you know you can screw it into the boom arm that I'm using and then just pop in the microphone here and you can angle it and all that good stuff. So it's nice to have. Uh, of course, and then we have the Deity mic packaging that it comes in. So it comes in this really nice wood grain box here. Definitely something I'm not used to when it comes to an actual microphone uh, carrying case. It says Deity there and that very nice glossy shiny chrome uh, S mic 3. And then we have the latch here and let me just set it down. And when we open it, it reveals the microphone here. So there's the mic, it's in a very nice padded uh, box there, very snug as well, uh, but there it is. There is the microphone. Uh, it's got that traditional bright yellow DD branding and S Mic 3 branding. There's a serial number there, but whatever. And then of course, the rest of the microphone, there's the tip there, if I can get it in focus. All right, there we go, goodness. What's going on with my camera today? But there it is, so it looks pretty nice. Let's. Uh, Put this to the side here and let's talk about it so what i was meaning about earlier is that as you can see here this is an xlr um, microphone which means that you just can't plug it up to your camera and go you need phantom power to power this bad boy here so there's a few steps that you got to take like i was saying to get this to work so number one you need some sort of XLR cable, which uh, this is what I bought here. Sorry for that zooming there. Uh, but this is a braided cable that I bought from Amazon from Sonic Cake. And it's got a Mel end here, as you can see, it's a three pin uh, right there. And then it's also got a female end here uh, that uh, receives into that there. And uh, I'll show you real quick. So whenever you plug it in, you match up the you know, the, the pens there. And then what I like about this one is it clicks in, which is really nice. So now it's nice and snug. And then you put this end into a preamp of some sort. And I'm using the Ceramonic Smart Rig Plus with this one. Uh, the thing I like about this one is it's pretty affordable. It was like 70 bucks, uh, but it's a dual channel one. So I can hook up two microphones at once if I wanted to. 
And I like that I can switch between phone and camera or phone and tablet or whatever. Uh, but when you turn it on, uh, you can turn it to the 48 volt for the phantom power. But I literally just plug this in here, just like so. And then I plug in the cable into the end of my uh, camera. Now it is a TRRS cable, but when you switch it over, it turns to TRS. Um, and then that's it. That's all you need. You don't need anything special, nothing fancy other than this. This works just fine. In the preamps, when I do hook this up, I'm going to have my Sony recording level on my A6700 down to one. And I'm going to use the preamp dial for the gain here to set it in to hit negative 12. So next, let's go and get this bad boy uh, hooked up. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and mount this on here just like so. So very... Uh, simple whenever you just click it in like that and then now let's get it on my boom arm and uh, let's see what it sounds like all right so here is the quality that you're gonna get with this s mic 3. i have the audio recording level set to one on my sony a6700 and then i dialed around and played with the gain on the preamp that i showed you just a second ago and it's hitting right at negative 12 or maybe just a little bit over which i'll be able to play around but I didn't want to do any audio editing with this particular video. I just wanted to show you what it sounds like straight out of the box. The only thing I'm going to mess with is just the gain to maybe get it loud enough uh, for the video at least. But I'm not going to like do any like background isolation, noise isolations or anything like that. So let me know down in the comments what it sounds like. Now I do not have the uh, pop filter on yet. But this is what I was talking about with my D3 Pro where it's got Deity branding on it. And I've always been a big fan of that. Uh, just, I don't know, I like the look of how it looks like there. But that's what I'm talking about with these types of microphones. You know, you just plug it in. I can charge it with the USB-C charging port and I'm good to go. Um, but, you know, it's a little, little shotgun mic. But, you know, I really like the look of this. Uh, but now that I... I'm playing around with the audio right now. Um, I'm about a foot away from the microphone. I do have two of my cob lights kind of hovering over us. One's a little louder than the other, so hopefully it's not picking it up too much. Uh, but uh, now let's go ahead and uh, install this. And I'm actually going to do it while I still have the video running because I want to see what it sounds like and if it's super loud whenever I'm touching the microphone and all that, trying to kind of twist this on. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so now this is what it sounds like with the pop filter on. And let me know what you think. Does it sound good? Does it sound better? Um, I usually am a fan of the foam uh, little, um, you know, microphone covers on my microphones when I'm using them. Uh, I always have this one on, just helps a little bit with that background noise. So let me know if it's changed the sound at all um, when I'm using it like this. But like I said, I'm sitting literally about a foot away from the microphone. Uh, so let me know what it sounds like. Does it sound better than the D3 Pro? Does it sound the same? You let me know. I won't know until I'm editing it. But ultimately, guys, this is a pro mic that's going to do just fine and something that you're going to be able to rely on. But one thing I will point out, guys, is make sure you do a good preamp. I think the Ceramonic Smart Rig Plus is a good one. I've watched a lot of videos that people highly recommend it, especially from YouTubers that I trust. But I just want to make sure I remind you because I've had friends who have bought preamps before in the past and uh, after I kind of started picking their brains the last few days and they would say, you know, in the middle of a shoot or something that it just stopped working. And then next thing you know, it half of the audio sounded good. And the other half had a real bad buzzing sound and, and just was unusable. So I just want to make sure I point that out to be careful with what you use. But so far, I'm not having any issues. But let me know if you hear any buzzing or anything like that as well. Uh, but there you go. There's the Deity S Mic 3. Uh, if you're interested, I will definitely put some links down in the description if you're looking for a pro broadcast style microphone like this. Uh, but I got to say, Deity comes in hot with the high qualityness of this microphone, especially with the presentation of this box here. So 
Big thanks to Deity once again. So hit that like button if you liked the video. If you loved it, please subscribe. Ring that notification bell for up-to-date content. So be safe. God bless. We'll see you on the next one.